In 1972, a groundbreaking study suggested that between 35,000 and 65,000 years ago, a genetic bottleneck occurred in humans, drastically reducing our population and limiting our genetic diversity. At the time, the cause of this event was unclear. However, in the 1990s, scientists began linking it to the massive eruption of Lake Toba in Indonesia, which occurred 74,000 years ago. This eruption was incredibly powerful, estimated to be 10,000 times stronger than the eruption of Mount St. Helens. It caused widespread devastation and severe climate changes, pushing the human population to the brink of extinction, with only about 3,000 to 10,000 individuals surviving. For years, the Lake Toba eruption was considered the primary cause of the genetic bottleneck. However, recent research suggests that the eruption may not have had as significant an impact on humanity as previously thought. Some populations near the volcano appeared to persist despite the eruption, and newer models indicate that its climatic effects were not as severe as originally believed. Additionally, the timing of the eruption does not align well with the observed drop in human population, leading to a growing consensus that other factors may have contributed to the genetic bottleneck. This discovery challenged the notion of the bottleneck theory, with some experts questioning its validity due to the limitations of 1970s DNA research, which is now considered outdated. Interest in human bottlenecks waned until late 2023 when a groundbreaking study by anthropologists identified a significant evolutionary bottleneck that occurred between 800,000 and 900,000 years ago, during the Calabrian stage of the Pleistocene. This bottleneck affected not modern humans, who had yet to evolve, but an ancestral lineage of early humans. By analyzing over 3,000 modern human genomes, scientists were able to look into the past and discovered that this event reduced the population to as few as 1,280 individuals, causing the extinction of 98.7% of the population. To illustrate the severity of this event, it's comparable to a meteor today wiping out approximately 7.9 billion people. At such critically low numbers, our ancestors would have been considered endangered and extremely rare, a stark contrast to the current human population, which is abundant. Survivors of this bottleneck did not experience a quick recovery. Researchers estimate that this drastically low population level persisted for over 117,000 years, during which early humans struggled to survive, hanging on by a thread and fighting for their existence. The scientists supported this proposed bottleneck using known fossil remains, pointing to the scarcity of hominin bones dating between 950,000 and 650,000 years old, with only a few specimens from this period. Interestingly, the existing remains raise more questions than answers due to their unclear taxonomic statuses, leaving scientists unsure about which Homo species were most affected. Some research suggests ruling out Homo antecessor based on skull comparisons, indicating that the mysterious species in question may have been more similar to Homo heidelbergensis, the archaic human species considered the last common ancestor of Neanderthals and modern humans. In an intriguing twist, researchers proposed that the survivors of this event might have evolved into heidelbergensis. This hypothesis is plausible, as similar evolutionary patterns can occur in other mammals during bottlenecks, where loss of genetic variation causes the new population to become genetically distinct from the original one. Extinction events often play a significant role in evolution, pushing survivors to adapt or perish. So, what exactly triggered this obscure moment in human history that may have been crucial in the eventual emergence of Homo sapiens? As in many periods of Earth's history, a dramatic shift in climate change seems to be the main culprit. The most likely suspect is the mid-Pleistocene transition MPT, event, which profoundly impacted not just our ancestors but the entire planet. This event marked a significant change in the glacial cycles that had previously dominated Earth. Before the MPT, these cycles lasted about 41,000 years and were characterized by thin ice sheets. After the transition, Earth began to see thicker ice sheets and longer cycles lasting up to 100,000 years, putting immense strain on the environment. The shift, which occurred between 1.25 and 0.7 million years ago, is thought to have been triggered by a gradual decrease in carbon dioxide and a reduction in regolith. Although often considered a single large event, it was actually marked by numerous acute events, one of which is known as the 0.9 Ma event. This particular moment within the transition is currently scientists' best guess for what specifically caused the decline of many early human populations. 
It was the coldest point during the entire transition and led to drier conditions across Africa and Eurasia, drastically altering the landscape and making hunting more challenging for our ancestors. Dental evidence supports this hypothesis, as many prehistoric ungulates from that time displayed distinct isotope levels, indicating they were forced to rapidly change their diet. This suggests that it wasn't only early humans who struggled, they just had a harder time than most. Researchers believe one reason for this may have been their lack of control over fire. Currently, very few fire sites from the 0.9 Ma event are known, suggesting our ancestors weren't as technologically advanced as needed to endure the cold. This lack of fire is also considered a primary reason why early humans suffered for so long, with recovery only occurring after fire became more widespread. Once fire was mastered, early humans apparently rebounded swiftly, it's estimated that by 830,000 years ago, the number of archaic humans had increased by over 2,000%, a remarkable comeback story. Additionally, the absence of other technologies, such as clothing, may have contributed to both the initial die-off and the subsequent recovery. Surprisingly, despite the hardships faced by ancient humans, some animals fared even worse, going fully extinct, including various types of pumas, megantherium, and xenosmolus. Marine life was also significantly affected, with a separate study finding that this event wiped out over 100 different marine species, highlighting our relative luck in surviving. Naturally, this idea is highly contentious. Some people reject the hypothesis entirely, while others dispute that climate was the cause or argue that the proposed timings are incorrect. Some even believe there was no extinction event at all, suggesting instead that a random genetic mutation might have given one population a significant advantage over others. The scientists who authored the paper have acknowledged that further research is needed to confirm their bottleneck hypothesis. Fortunately, since 2023, additional studies have been conducted, providing both answers and new questions. An independent team found that while a bottleneck likely occurred, it may have happened earlier than initially thought, unfolding over a million years ago. If proven true, it would indicate that the 0.9 Ma event was not the primary factor behind our ancestors' near extinction. However, another recent study supports the original paper's timeline but argues that cold temperatures alone were not the sole cause. This third study suggests that while climate change was a trigger, mass migrations out of Africa were the real reason for the population bottleneck. As temperatures dropped and Africa became more arid, expanding savannas forced early humans to leave their homeland. Ironically, they were able to migrate due to new land routes formed by growing ice sheets and rising water levels, but almost none survived the harsh journey, which included a severe lack of fresh water. The controversy sparked by the original study has led to much new research. Hopefully, in the near future, we can resolve these disagreements and uncover the true cause of our ancestors' close brush with extinction. I hope you enjoyed our video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more educational content like this. Thanks for watching.